That's right. It's me, Roxanne, Roxana Dana. It is AKA Chocolate Honey. That's right. I know, I know, I know. It has been forever and a day since I've done a video, right? Well, let's not waste any time. I, let's just get jump right off into it. All right, this video is gonna be a makeup of the day video. So, hey Rocky, what's the makeup of the day? Say it, say it, ask me. Hey Rocky, okay, go ahead, ask. All right, well, let me tell you, it's some of everything. <laughs> It is literally some of everything. All right, to start, for starters, I went in because I'm just running. I'm getting ready. That's why I'm sitting in the car. I'm getting ready to run to the store. <coughs> so I just needed something to slap on my face. Did not want to use any of my good staying power makeup because I'm just going to run to the store and come straight back. Okay, so I don't need anything that's going to stay. I don't, I don't care if it rubs off or not. I just need something to throw on that I look that's going to make me look decent. So, um, the first thing I was digging through my makeup bag, and the first thing I came across was Maybelline's. Let me see if I can get this thing to focus. Hold on. It is Maybelline's um, Dream Cushion Foundation. Oh, shoot. There we go. There we go. Maybelline's Dream Cushion Foundation in the shade number 60 which is supposed to be coco i'm hoping this thing will oh, anyway it's supposed to be coco there we go you can sort of kind of see it there a little bit sorry about the glare from the sun and all of that well not really sunny but you know the daylight anyway it's um maybelline number 60 cushion and i knew why it comes with this little sponge application sponge which i don't like using but i did use today because my other brushes and stuff are packed and the rest of them that are not packed are not clean so i didn't want to you know didn't want to do that so i just used a little sponge that was here this is what it looks like i cannot remember how much this stuff costs but i know i paid too much for it whatever it was this is what it is all right this is the pan that's the empty pan and the makeup solution product comes on this sponge that's what it comes on so that's all the product like i said i cannot remember how much it is but that's what it is okay um i knew the reason i stopped using it is because it's um now it is very lightweight i can't remember all the promises and all the things the claims on it but I know it does claim to be lightweight, and, and I know it's like light to medium coverage. That it is, light to medium coverage. Um, but I stopped using it because it's cool tone. I'm warm tone. Okay, this I purchased this before I knew anything about undertones, all right? I was just going for the shade. When the, you know, at the time, the darkest shade was cocoa. That's what I got, cocoa. Because at the time, that was the darkest, so... But the shade is okay for my winter color, but it's the undertone. So, therefore, with that being said, I'm a warm undertone, so I needed to not only darken it up, because I'm still dark from summer, um, I need to add some warmth to it. So, that's when I pulled out my Milani 2-in-1 foundation. It's a concealer and foundation in one, and it works. I love this stuff. I love it. I have, this is the number 14, which, to my knowledge, um is the the darkest shade that milani has now milani needs to do better as well on their shade range they know better than this they know better because this is some good stuff for a good drugstore brand if you have normal to not too too oily skin if you have dry normal combination or skin that's not too too oily i highly recommend this milani it is two in one now they have other foundations but the milani two in one thumbs up i have the shade 11 13 and 14 i usually use the 11 and 13 i use the 11 for like highlighting 13 for contouring and 14 for foundation all over for foundation sometimes i end up mixing the 13 and 14 depends on what time of the year now then um i won't go into the eyeshadow since i didn't bring the other shadow out here with me but one of the shadows i have on is this it's by color pop it is called don't leave me that way don't leave me now it looks like it's a purpley yeah it is a purple 
It's the purple shade. What's my favorite color? It's purple. Yes, this is by ColourPop, okay? I use part of it on my lid, part of it in the crease, and I also use it. Oh, I'm going to show you. This stuff is very pigmented, folks. Very. I cannot remember how much I paid for this. I know it's less than $10. Um, and they had it on sale. I think regular price may have been $13. do not quote me on that. But I know I got it on sale, so I know I paid less than than 10 bucks for it all right but literally this is all i did for my cheeks when i used it for the blush see how natural that blush looks looks very natural all i did and this is after i put the powder on it's still you know it's not a lot of color that you see but you still see color right and this is what i did i'm not gonna do it because you know i'm not i don't want to waste product but i got this brush and i just barely i did whoop, i just great and i literally did that whoop but on the product, of course, I just barely grazed the very tip top of the of the product. Just swipe, just barely swoosh. That's it. I did that, and then like that. Then I swooshed again, very lightly, and of course I blew it off. And then I did that, you know, from there. And I think I did the side of my nose. But that's it. That's it. I got. This stuff is very ColourPop. That's why I like ColourPop products. Did that just fall out? But anyway, that's why I like ColourPop products because they are very pigmented. Okay, so that's that. I use that for my eyes and for my cheeks. Then I came in with the L'Oreal True Match Powder. This is the, what's this, Super Blendable. Yes, I agree. This is some good powder, folks. <coughs> from CoverGirl. I mean, from L'Oreal good powder this is number what is this this is c cool tone eight number c8 at the time i purchased this they did not have any warm tone they just had cool and neutral why are you gonna do cool and neutral and no um no warm tone but anyway that's what i had to work with and once again it looks okay but it's still a little too light there we go still a little too light because i'm still dark from summer so i had to come through oh and i didn't bring it darn anyway i came through after i put this on i came through with um my kat von d number 72 deep kat von d 72 deep powder i put over this um because this was just too cool tone all right then i used this by unique lipstick liquid lipstick by unique this is sensual sensual i use this all over i put this all over it's dark it's the darkest one put well not the darkest shade they have but it's out of the two that i use it's the darkest and then i came through and in the inside of my lower lip i use this one this is called spontaneous so we are sensually spontaneous or spontaneously sensual however you want to do it because the dark one is called sensual and the lighter one is called spontaneous that's me baby <laughs> i'm spontaneous just ask my sweetie okay but anyway and then i use the nyx matte setting spray um because like i said to kind of bring it all together because it looked a little too powdery and although i like matte makeup it, it, I don't like it to look cakey or powdery and that's what it did so I need a setting spray like I said it, I didn't I didn't use this spray to set per se I just used it to give it a more natural finish so I wouldn't look powdery and on my eyes I just used Maybelline Colossal um, mascara and I use a green one of the green shades to go in there and I used that same mascara just kind of because I had a little issue with this brow and I had them perfect, trust me, Gage. That's why I'm intentionally not showing you my brows. Because at first, when I first did it, it was perfect because I did something on vacation. I, girl, I was asleep. I don't know what I was doing. But anyway, I messed up my brow. So I now I have to draw in my brow on, on this side. And so I didn't feel like doing all that for this video. Ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> okay. Ain't nobody got time for that. So I ended up just you know using my mascara wand and brushing my brows up and i had them perfect don't ask me why did i keep going why did i keep going i had them perfect and i had just one more 
one more stroke and it got too dark well i got this side too dark now i'm gonna have to go in and make this side dark so that's why they look the way they do now and now it looks like oh elvira or something but i'm thinking hey elvira dark brows it's halloween so i'll leave it all right so that's why my brows because i cannot stand dark brows um no and so i normally don't even use black on my brows i normally use a dark brown or whatever but these lips though these lips though they are gorgeous but anyway let me get out of here because i'm already missing part of my favorite program and i go back to work to, in the morning uh which i actually leave tonight but i start work in the morning um so i got a lot to do should have been already done so i'll talk to y'all later peace ciao baby